Hi guys, this will be part 8 of our Raspberry Pi Nintendo 64 project. And uh, in this video I just kind of wanted to go over the final build where I ended up placing everything and how everything's going to work out. And then I'll put it together and possibly showcase a game or two just to make sure it works out okay. So, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the inside of the Nintendo 64 itself. As you see, I kept the game port, so I slide the game cartridge on, and uh, I maintained the original power port of the Nintendo 64 in the power pack here. So I ran power to a couple of pins on the game port, and then into the Raspberry Pi itself here. So the Nintendo will only turn on if there is a game inserted. Uh, and then you can see I have the Mayflash USB adapter over here tied into the corner, had zip tied in. And for now I've only wired up one controller to it. These are the controllers of the original N64. I painted them black. Um, and the USB cord for the Mayflash I chopped a good foot off of so that there wasn't so much extra cording in here connected to that to the Pi and also for the game itself I put a USB flash drive in here to actually store the ROMs on and I wired up a uh, USB port right here and I ran the wires to the card in here so <coughs> those wires are over here And they run from those four pins over to the Raspberry Pi here. So, and then the HDMI cable, I had to get a 270 degree HDMI cable because it wasn't, a normal one wouldn't fit with the game port there. So this is kind of a temporary setup because I pretty much have to force the cover on because it's still too tall. So, I don't know. Might end up breaking something with that, but we'll test it out. So that's the, the placement of things. And uh, so let's get to putting her together. Oh, and the lid. I want to make these buttons function eventually. But for now, they don't. I'll get to that in the future. So we kind of have to push this cord down. And set the top in place like this that and then it snaps in place like that okay, I went with a nice black and white theme I also need to figure out how to paint the insides of the controller ports because they're still gray but eh, future stuff so back to our game bit screws game bit four and a half millimeter So there's the N64 itself all put together. And then there's this big gaping hole here because, well, I need to figure out how to do an HDMI port. But for now, I'm just going to run this cable out the back of it and call it good. So let's put the game cartridge together here. And that's a quick process. And there's the game all put back together. Basically looks like a Nintendo 64 cartridge. You can't really tell that there's anything extra in there. So, <coughs> let's see what she looks like all put together. There's the game in the cartridge, or in the N64. And we'll hook up the controller, which I also painted black and white. That's what she looks like. A friend of mine called it a stormtrooper uh, paint scheme. 
that wasn't exactly what I was going for, but it's kind of what it looks like, and I'm not opposed to it. Also, I didn't paint the controller pack itself. I don't know, I feel like the black sticks out a little bit, so I might do the same, you know, black bottom, white top paint job on this in the future. But for now, this is the finished product. So that's going to do it for our Nintendo 64 RetroPie project for now. Um, I probably will revisit in the future because I want to do things like uh, figure out the HDMI port and uh, I don't know, maybe touch up some painting on it and some other things, maybe some LEDs, I don't know. But for right now, I would call it a complete project. I'm satisfied with it. It looks and runs very well. So, like I said, that's going to do it for now. So if you did get anything out of the series or enjoyed it or whatever, please do like and subscribe. If not, feel free to not. Leave comments either way if you if you wish, and I will see you in future videos.